Hi, this application gives you a color picker for in WPF. So we have here a cube and this cube, uh, whenever you go over with the mouse over this cube, then the color will be selected there. And we may also cha uh, change the color from white to dark uh, because that's a typical problem in, uh, in a color picker on a, uh, that we have the, that the colors red, blue and green have two sides uh, so it's, uh, it's a three-dimensional system. We also need to have here the uh, black color and you see uh, when you change that selector then you will get that point. So what does this software do? It's written in WPF and it's a small user control. It's uh, called UC Control Selector SAML uh, block hidden here. And what we have there is <coughs> we have a little constructor which is based on uh, this main uh, grid or let's say a, a, a grid in the background which is called grid user control. And then we have the first grid block uh, which means this is divided in this block and the right block and in the right block we have the select button and the slider and the color which is selected and on the left block we have this grid um, this grid block uh, here it is grid colors which have two blocks um, in the background is a color I think this is not used anymore but I'm, but I'm not sure and here this block is are two images uh, behind itself so they are overlaid so one is the black cube in the background and there's a white cube in the front side those images are from uh, from Wikipedia so this is the same Wikipedia image which need, which is called RGB color cube corner white PNG and the slider in here uh, changes the tran transmission on that point. So when we have here that uh, when the slider moves, selected slider control select go to the definition. Then the slider does nothing else than it changes the op opacity from the white cube. The white cube is the cube in front side. Okay, that's the block the construction of that um, of that app or window or page and now we come to the select how does the select work the select works when somebody comes in that system and makes where is it uh, when it when somebody changes the color here if somebody moves uh, over that image in the middle, not outside there, it shouldn't react on there, only if it's over the main mini image, then that's the image cube white mouse move. And th the stuff there does, it selects the color, it says, okay, give me the actual bitmap. So this is, uh, the point is, it's an image the image itself is like it's a big side uh, is as big as if we would change um, the image to uh, not scaled uh, then then the image would stretch if we would say stretch is no then you see the image is a lot bigger the default of stretching is uh, to uh, to take it in that block so that it fix. Uh, so the image itself is a lot bigger so the system says okay create a bitmap of that image of that of that element. So this element this uh, image element create me the screen which what we see there and then we say now that's uh, easy if we have that bitmap then we say make me create me a small a very small image of with one pixel so at the point where the mouse is where the mouse is get position in the white cube so give me the position what uh, which is in there 
So this would be if somebody says, uh, <clears throat> okay, the actual cursor is on here, then give me, uh, this is the position, this is uh, x and this is y. And so give me that point on there uh, whenever you mo move around this uh, image. And then we would say, if we have a picture, uh, a small bitmap with one uh, pixel, then we swap all that stuff, that small uh, pixel into a pixels array. And from the pixels array, we can read the first pixel, second, and uh, as first, second, and third pixel. So this is R, G, and B. R. R, G, B. So R, G, B. So that's, this is how those pixels, and that's it. So uh, finally, the selected block is create a new solid brush, brush with the color out R, G, B. So this is the one pixel in there. So this works pretty good. Here it is. You see the color is always selected here on that, this block and it also works on that point. And uh, yeah, and once more, uh, what we also need here, this first block create, give me a bit source, give me a, an image of the actual element. So this is the code what I've written there is, uh, first check if the element is there uh, at the beginning of the of the when the system starts up the element is not given their framework element so uh, this should not run at the initialization and then we have the dot per inch is always 96 uh, we need the hey and width of that uh, framework element so of that image control and then we say create an empty image placeholder uh, with uh, of that point with uh, 60, 69 uh, dots per inch and then we say this is my actual create me something visual or do in the visual uh, system and um, and create a renderer so the system takes that stuff and copies it in, uh, in there. So this is um, the rendering machine which creates images for the for this monitor, for the screen. And then we say create a new brush and create me that rectangle of the actual stuff what you see there uh, which is my image. And then we say okay, uh, so uh, we say okay create a bitmap render that stuff that's this area inside the bitmap and then take this out so in general it says okay create me a bitmap of the, of the framework element what you see there so create me a bitmap of all that stuff that's all what it says and then in the second step create me a bitmap with one pixel and give me the color of there so this is the code and I will place that code on my website so which is called in English one is a code doku here I have that point and this is my old my old color wheel and I will place it on there and uh, you will find a link on it